What's up guys, my name is Yeso and welcome back to part 2, attempt number 2 of the livestream of Bruma, the huge DLC mod for Skyrim. I've downloaded the latest patch so this should be a lot more stable than the last stream and we are going to do some adventuring. We're going to hopefully do some quests because last episode we basically adventured around the whole of Bruma and we found a few different quests that are very far off in the distance. In fact, let me show you. Let me show you on the map here. So this is Bruma, just here. We're at the Eastern Watchtower. Um, we want to go all the way over here though, to Sador. So let's make that our active quest. We're going to meet a, a Nord outside of this place. Apparently he's got a few of his mates and they want to go and raid this Aelid Ruin. And I'm pretty excited to raid an Aelid Ruin because I remember them from Oblivion, but I haven't seen them in the Skyrim engine yet, so that's going to be pretty cool. We're going to make our way north, and north around this massive mountain here, over to this location. But I think we're going to also explore the Wizard's Tower, which is just here up this mountain. So, let's begin. Take two indeed, because the last time we tried to stream... Oh, hello. Stop. Your money or your life. Really? Toll collector here. I'm afraid this is a premium highway, and as such, passage requires a reasonable little toll payment. A premium How highway, about it, friend. <laughs> He's li we're literally standing in a guard tower right now, and this guy's trying to rob me. Are you kidding? I'm not going to give you anything. We'll see if you put up this much of a fight when you are lying dead on the ground, eh? Eh? Until next time. Look there. A fight. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Lydia. Get wrecked, mate. I like how the guards aren't doing anything. I surrender. <laughs> he surrendered, guys. What's going on here? The guards are just yeah. like, what's going on here? Get wrecked, mate. <laughs> what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> oh, this guy is an absolute fool, wasn't he? Come to turn yourself in, eh? What? No. Goodbye. Uh, okay. We got away with that. That was probably when when I stole that broomstick for one gold accidentally last episode. She still wants me. She wants to take me to prison. Right. I think if we carry on down this pathway and then we go to the left, we'll cross over this this river and then we'll work our way around the mountain. That's the plan anyway, guys. This mod might come out for PS4. I know it's definitely going to be out on Xbox One. Uh, Skyrim Special Edition. I can't wait until it's out on Skyrim Special Edition because it's a lot more stable on the 64-bit version of the game. This is on the old Skyrim at the moment, which is a 32-bit version. It should be more stable with the patch they've literally just released today. But hopefully um, we don't run into too many issues. As for PS4, there's a chance it will come out, but we, we don't know for sure yet. Because I think it will probably use quite a few external assets, so we'll see what happens. Aha! These are some thugs that I think are trying to kill me because of the broomstick I stole earlier. Luckily I've got Lydia with me. So we should be able to wreck them. I actually, I'm still not so sure who hired these thugs. I'm, I think it's, the, I think I just shot Lydia in the ass. Actually, sorry, Lydia. No, Lydia, show no mercy. Don't worry, guys, I've got this. <laughs> this guy's gonna get shot in the face right now. Oh, okay. No, he's not. He's ho he's hobbling towards me. Maybe we should shoot him in the knee. Oh, mate. Get wrecked. Yeah, so if you look, she's got 100 gold, which is the bounty. Another 100 gold. Who is this guy? I don't recognize his name. I'm pretty sure he lives here in Bruma, and he's hired these savage thugs. Let's take his enchanted weapon. There we go. Uh, don't run into me, love. What are you doing, mate? You savage. Let's turn up the difficulty a bit, because it's clearly not hard enough. 
Oh, that's why. It's only on Apprentice. I don't want to put it on Master because obviously then everyone turns into a bullet sponge and you guys just have to watch me pelt people with arrows for an hour to actually kill them, which is gets a bit boring after a while. We actually want to explore the game. But beautiful too. Yeah, Skyrim. Oh, who's this? A bandit. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Lydia was just like denied. <laughs> Cyrodiil treasure map. No way. They have treasure maps. What does it mean, guy? Oh, no. I actually know where this is. I know where this is. I, I know exactly where this is because we walked past it. I will show you guys. We won't go there right now, we'll go there later, but as you enter Skyrim from the Pale Pass, you'll come past the Sentinel Statue. So just up that hill, you'll actually find um, the treasure. I think it's below the bridge, which is around here. That's really cool that we've just found the treasure map. I didn't know they even had that in the mod. Yeah, Rip Bandit for sure, guys. Rip Rabbit, more like it. <laughs> this bandit would just... Oh, shit. Lydia, take whoever that is out. Can't believe they just fired an arrow at me. You bastard. Who do you think you are, bandit outlaw? Mate, you can't aim for shit. There we go. Lydia's too much of a savage to put up with these bandits. I love the fair armor in this game, though. It's pretty awesome. Like, it's, it's a bit different to the, uh, the fur armor we find... In um, Skyrim, it's not as, like, woolly as you'd expect, right? Oh, okay. There's actually a bandit camp here. Hidden away. There, there are quite a few, like, unmarked sort of hidden locations around. Which is quite nice, because we get to discover them all. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll play my part. Okay, Lydia. Good to know, bro. Well, apart from a bit of a view here... There's not anything else here. It's just some some place we can eat. I'm going to be doing some mod videos. Um, the next mod video I'm going to have out on the weekend, guys. And it's going to... I've basically made something called a mod pack. And you'll be able to click it. And it will automatically like download and install of all of the mods. Uh, basically a whole mod list that I've made. And it will be in the exact same load order that I use. And you guys will just be able to use it straight away. And the mod pack I've made, the first video that I'm going to release on this weekend, it's going to be a mod pack for survival. So you can down, you know, you just press a button, it installs all the mods and basically turns Skyrim into survival mode, which is pretty damn awesome. So I think we've got to go along this path here now, around this mountain, and then it seems to be a path up here to the Wizard's, Wizard's Tower, or Frost Spire, whatever it's called. Um, but that mod list... I will um, link it down below in the description as soon as it's out. It says Mountain Watch, so let's go this way. And hopefully this is the right way. We shall find out. But yeah, I just want to make modding as accessible as possible for you guys. I've been working with this guy who's built like a client to make modding really easy for new people. And that's basically the idea behind it. I think modding should be as accessible as possible and i mean if you're not sure about modding and you think oh i don't know maybe i want to get into it but it's a bit confusing that video is definitely going to be you know for you to get started and considering sky skyrim uh, the elder scrolls no sorry not skyrim the elder scrolls 6 is going to be coming out in probably 2023 is my estimate uh the deer running into the countryside Fearing for its life, apparently. Let's see if we can take him out. I think it's a good time to start modding Skyrim because obviously, you know, this is the only Elder Scrolls game we're going to have for a while. So enjoy some mods. Oh, get wrecked, Mr. Deer. I kind of want my kill cam, though. I feel cheated. Why didn't I get a kill cam there? Where do I think the new Elder Scrolls game will be based? Well, I think it's going to be in Valenwood. I'm very sure it will be, based on a leak that came out ages ago. 
let's discover this inn. Now, we did discover this earlier, but um, I'm going to rediscover it now. I'm warning you, don't come any closer. Now, the gate to this inn is locked, so even if you kill this guy, he doesn't have a key. I think there's a quest related to it that yeah. we just haven't found yet. I'm going to keep on repeatedly saving the game just in case it does crash, but hopefully this patch has stabilised it slightly. Yeah, I've done a full playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance Beta, and I've got another one of the E3 build to upload as well. Who's this Khajiit here? Oh, I need some skooma. Sweetest moon sugar, the most potent skooma. All can be yours for a fair price. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was like, oh, I need some skooma, and it's actually a skooma peddler. Only the sweetest moon sugar, the, sweetest the most moon potent sugar. skooma. What do you have for sale? The most potent moon sugar and skooma you'll find outside elsewhere. Take a look. Elsewhere. <laughs> moon sugar. 153 gold. I will buy your moon sugar and some skooma. I need to install my mod on this Skyrim that uh, increases the effects of skooma and just makes them a bit more crazy. Uh, right. Isn't this illegal? Ah, a hound of the Imperials. A slave to the letter of the law, are we? Listen. This one is simply providing a service. A service that many are willing to pay for. Do not interfere. The next Elder Scrolls game definitely won't be in Morrowind. There's, it would be cool if it was in Elsewhere or Hammerfell, but I don't think it will be. Especially not Elsewhere, I don't think. Okay, fair enough. Forget I said anything. Hmm. Yes. A wise decision indeed. Now, some skooma? If not, this one suggests you leave. Now. Yeah, your internet connection this might not be able to deal with watching this, this stream this live simply because I've got it on low latency. If you are having issues with buffering, I suggest watching it um, a minute behind everyone else, which is usually what happens. But if your internet can take it, um, obviously you don't need to do that. Oh, there's a wolf. A woofy. Oh, there he is. A timber wolf. By the oh, no, it's just a normal wolf. Oh, what? That wolf has some crazy dodging skills, man. Literally just jumped over that arrow. Okay, I just wanted to discover that location so we can fast travel to it later. But yeah, they have done a really good job on the landscaping in this um, mod. It It's nothing like Bruma was in Oblivion. The Gerald Mountains are definitely somewhere you can get lost and confused in now. You can, you can just completely get lost and, uh, what's the word for it? Kind of like disorientated in the wilderness. So we're just behind this mountain now, which is good. We're making good progress. I really want to show you guys Frost Crag Tower. How did you come from that direction, Lydia? Is this something you know that I don't know? Oh, goodness. Get wrecked, mate. Lydia, you're a bit slow on the draw there. Maybe, I, I think I'm going to quickly show you guys the Shrine of Talos for those who haven't seen it. Um, I'll quickly show you guys that and then we'll run back this way. I just really want to show you it because I thought like it was really cool how they put this in. And I thought it was really clever. So I want to share it with you guys for those people watching the stream a bit later. And then we're basically back at the point where the game crashed last time. <laughs> Okay, I, I know it's around here somewhere. It was unmarked on my map, so obviously it makes it a bit trickier to find. I do believe it was just down here, though. Here we are. It's like, like sort of a plateau area at the edge. The Imperial City is being made. They've finished the walls off, but it's not actually finished yet. Okay, look. Just here, hidden, is a Shrine of Talos. Now, Talos worship is completely outruled in Cyrodiil because of the uh, White Concordant contract between the Thalma, the Aldmeri Dominion, and the Empire. So, you know, you still get a lot more shrines in Skyrim as well as people preaching about Talos, like the person you have in Whiterun. But here, 
These people have been worshipping illegally, so they've actually been killed. And shit. We're being attacked by some Thalma right now. Let's see if we can take out that mage. Help out Lydia as well, so she doesn't die here, because if that mage attacks me, it's going to hurt quite a lot. Here he is, he's coming down. Let's take him out with a long shot. Oh, I'll get wrecked, mate. Agent of Norina. Or Norina? I can't even say these words. Ah, I'm on fire, Jesus. Okay, right. He's dead. And if you look at his orders, he was actually told to go in. There were some reports of Talos worshipping around here in the Gerald Mountains. So he was told to go in, take out whoever was worshipping Talos. And they actually were waiting at the shrine for us to come here and then they ambushed us which is pretty awesome like i didn't expect that the first time i walked up here but now we're going to go back the other way uh on ourselves and back around that mountain i just want to have the shout cooldown because it's 20 percent shout cooldown by worshipping talos so let's take that right now lydia you're looking pretty damn sexy aren't you whoa she doesn't look as good as she does in skyrim special edition but hey an arrow to the knee. Classic. Classic weakness of all family. Death to the high elves indeed. I was, um, when I was playing the Elder Scrolls Online back in the day, I was uh, wanting to play a mage at one point, and high elves are really good mages. Um, but I was just like, I don't want to play a high elf because, because of the lore behind them. Like, they're just racers. Um... And you can, you can like, play them in a different faction. So you don't have to play them in the Aldmeri Dominion faction. But uh, I still didn't want to do that. I was like, nah, I just don't want to play a high off. It's not happening. <laughs> so in the end, I think I pl pl played, uh, played a Breton Mage or something like that. Can't remember now. I haven't played ESO in a while. I haven't even played the new Morrowind expansion, which um, was apparently quite decent. Would you guys like me to go back and live stream that in the future? Or, uh, or what? I mean, I'm definitely not. With MMOs, the issue is that you you play the game a lot and you become good at it and I can give you advice like I give you with Skyrim. Um, but you have to be up to date with it constantly. So I am i wouldn't consider myself good at ESO anymore. I'm very outdated as to, you know, what's good because the game's updated and patched so much. Okay, maybe we can go up this mountain and get to the wizard's tower, because it's at the top of here. That would be pretty cool if we can get there, because there's some cool stuff. I want to—I haven't seen it yet, and I want to show you guys, sort of compare it to what it was like in Oblivion. Oh, one second. This guy has had better days. Let's save the game quickly in case it crashes. He has one gold, and there's a knapsack here. Bronze necklace... Mystery of Talarva. I'm dyslexic, so my pronunciation is terrible. Sorry for saying any words wrong. Oh my god, there's a fucking troll, Lydia. That troll just is going after the rabbit. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a lot of ogres. There are a lot of ogres. Lydia, can we get a sneak attack? Oh my god, they've both seen us. These trolls are weak to fire. Oh my god. They're pretty scary. As long as Lydia can tank this damage, I think we'll do okay. Man, Lydia is not doing well right now. Taking one out, okay. Okay, both are out. I remember in Oblivion when I first met a troll. They were so hard to kill. I mean, the retexture of these guys looks incredibly good. I'm a big fan. But they're really hard. Oh, ogre teeth. Look at the size of those. Bloody hell. My goodness me. Dwarven shield. Okay, we can give that to Lydia, I guess. Ogre teeth. Ruby. Yeah, they were so hard to kill, but they were weak to fire, so I'd have to stand on top of a rock and just spam fire spells at them until they died. Because at that at that time, I didn't actually realise you could turn down the difficulty. Which is quite funny. <laughs> Put an arrow in the troll's knee. Good idea. Holy shit, you killed Shrek. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I reckon this loops round here. I'm hoping we can get up to the top. It's 
quite a maze, isn't it? Trying to navigate through these mountains. Maybe there's a bit of a shortcut here if we hop up here. Can I hop up here? No, I don't think I can. I thought maybe I could get up there and walk across the lock, but we have to go around by the looks of it. I can see someone over there. I don't know if they're an enemy or not. Can you guys see that person just there? So... I don't want to kill them if they're an NPC, but at the same time it'd be awesome if I shot them from here. They don't look like bandits, they look like hunters. It looks like a hunter's camp. Alright, I'm going to go with hunters. Pretty sure they are. What's going on here? Oh crap, no, they are bandits, aren't they? I should have shot them at long range. Oh god. Mate, what do you think you're doing? Where are they going? Why are they running over there? You fool. Bandit outlaw, get Rex on. Where do the other bandits go though, is the question. I mean, it looks like a hunter's camp, doesn't it? I really like the tents they've made. There were quite a few camps in the in the uh, hills of Oblivion, but um, they didn't look this cool. Ah, oh, leather boots, you see. Man, they've done such great with the 3D models. Mate, what are you doing? I'm fucking Khajiit. Oh, he wants my skooma, doesn't he? That's why he's uh, attacking me. Oh, what? That killed him in one shot? Are you crazy? Let's um, turn up the difficulty again. Oh, no. Settings. Gameplay. Expert. Right, that should be too bad. That's like probably the best I've ever thought. Woodcutter's axe. Don't actually need that because we're not playing Frostfall right now. But I think Frostfall will be very unforgiving in this area. You can go all the way down there, by the way, guys. There are still places to visit. I just wanted to check out the view. Can I not walk up here? Okay. There's a big fort down there, which I... Which we took out last stream before it crashed and ended. But right now it's running really smoothly. So I think the 1.2 patch has fixed it. Oh my god, look, okay. This is the best view so far we've got of the Imperial City. Just there where my cursor is. That is... The Mage Arcane University. Over there, I think that's the... Um, is that the prison? No, no. One second. Okay, so directly opposite us. That is, um... Oh, is it there? I'm so disorientated. I think it might be here. That's where the port is for the Imperial City. No, it is definitely opposite us. That's the port. That's the giant bridge. Looks so grand, doesn't it? Wow. Looks amazing. I cannot wait until they release, like, the next section of the game because... Just looking over there and the nostalgia I'm getting is unreal. I was doing an Oblivion livestream. Um, I am going to continue that. But um, not right now because I kind of want to play this mod. So we want to continue further up this mountain, don't we? So let's regain the path here that we sort of left when we saw those bandits. Because we're, we can actually see the wizard's tower at the top there. Frost Crag Spire, as it were. Let's go up this way, and I think we should be able to get up to the top soon. I don't actually know what's on this rock section, but you can get across to it. There's a bridge all the way over there. Well, there's a log closer up. Use my jumping skills. This is where we should have brought our horse, guys, because obviously it would be much easier to climb vertical surfaces with our horse. Yeah, this definitely isn't the easiest way to go, but I really want to get to that bridge over there. Will I be able to make it, though? That is the question. I think so. I was actually flying there. Is what it was. Okay, here we go. 
and we're on the bridge. So I think we would have looped around. Is that a troll or what? Who is that? That is a troll, isn't it? I can see that club. Pretty sure. Ogre Groundling. Sounds powerful. I mean, these are doing three times damage. So I'm hitting him for like 300 damage. And he's taking about four shots there. I guess if you are a wizard, it'd be quite easy to get to this tower. Oh, you can see the, the top of the spire just there. Sick, we're so close. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Look at it. Let's save the game quick. Oh my god, yes. How cool it looks. Oh, some snowberries, thank you. What? What? Oh my god, yes. Frostcrag Spire discovered. Jesus Christ. I wonder what's going in here going on in here then. Because these are quite a while after the events of Oblivion, so this is no longer my house. <laughs> Let's have a quick tour around the outside first, yeah? Oh my god. I just love like towers like this with like a side tower hanging off off it it looks so cool architecturally oh my god look. so that's the city of Bruma. that's where we started this video just at that tower down there how cool is this what do you think lydia i've got your back okay let's get going she doesn't have much to tell me i wonder if there are followers uh, in this dlc i wonder there must be surely Looks pretty extravagant, doesn't it? Oh there, traveller. What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? Just having a look, really. Um, I could ask you the same question. As you can see, I am here with a college reclamation team. Frostcrack Spire has been claimed under Imperial Doctrine as a transient College of Whispers Sinusure. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. So, again, I ask you, what your business here is? The College of Whispers are kind of like a very secretive magic school, I think. No official business, I just had some questions. Hmm, I suppose this is still a College of Whispers sinusure. Or almost one. Fine, just ask your questions, then make your way out. We don't need synod spies or vagabonds roaming around the spire. Skyrim. Why is Lizzie just talking about dragons in Skyrim? She's off in another world, isn't she? So this is like their base of operation. That's the College of Whispers flag, I do believe. And look, they've got the mage star sign there. This is a weird language. I have no idea what this language is. They look like oblivion letters, some of them, but not all of them. So it's quite mysterious. Oh, potion of healing. It. Okay, so this is their supply area, and up here, an enchanting altar, spell tome of mage light, enchanter's primer. Oh, it must be enchanting skill book, right? Yeah, it is. There you go, level 16. <laughs> Just leveled that up for the first time. Staff of mage light, very useful. A tragedy in black. This is also a skill book. Enchanting. Enchanter's Potion and lots of soul gems. Okay, I see. I think they are in Oblivion Letters, because I remember you... Yes? What is your business here? Shut up. I remember you used to be able to summon things here. I don't know if they still have that feature. I assume that they would, but I don't know how. Okay, so we can use one of these portals here to get to the next level, but I want to talk to these yes? other people. Yes, what is it? By the eight, it's freezing up here. Once our business here is concluded, I'm going to request relocation. How long have you been here? We've all been here since the mines over in our headquarters in Water's Edge decided so. I guess they've decided Frostcrack Spire was of enough magical significance to be claimed as a semi-official signature. If you mean how long have I been here, well, before this, I was a member of one of our oldest and most respected signatures, the Draeklaus signature. Unfortunately, there isn't much left of the place now for me to be a member anymore, so... 
It came out here, to the frontier. Well, a frontier of sorts. What's a signature? I think that means like a listed building. A signature is the term the College of Whispers uses when referring to our halls, or bases of operation. I was wrong. <laughs> Don't worry, I used to get the College of Whispers signature and the Synod's Conclave confused all the time too, what? when I first joined up. What do these words mean? <laughs> Find anything interesting here? Oh, plenty. This tower has been sealed for almost 150 years, so everything is still fresh. Can't you feel the old magics? I'm sorry, but I can't let you in on the specifics of my findings. Don't worry. Our guild I'll prides itself on its ability to keep dangerous knowledge safely away from the common man. Exactly, thank you. Someone just said in the chat the voice acting is amazing. It is. In my opinion, it's better than Skyrim's voice acting, mostly. All the NPCs actually sound enthusiastic and all different. None of them sound, like, dead and boring. Like, like a lot of them did in Skyrim. Obviously, like, the main quest line is quite well voice acted, but this is so much better. Like, Shea Gorath, good voice actor, but everyone here just sounds like a genuine person that you want to, like, meet and uh, ask questions about and see what they have to say. This? This is Frostcrag Spire. Didn't you know about it? It's rather hard to miss, I would say. Ah, uh, well, I have to wonder. What are you thinking, standing here, in one of the most famous magical locations in all of Cyrodiil? Meh. <laughs> I'd rather keep my thoughts to myself. I'm not thinking anything. Yeah, it's awe-inspiring, to say the least. My thoughts exactly. Adventures like this are why I joined the college. You don't get to experience the sights the college offers you with guilds like the Synod, and being an independent mage is just so lonely. Okay, I've already asked that question. Bye. She's a lonely lady looking for love. Right, let's go on this portal. Still no, here. Lydia, get out of my way. And this should take us to the next floor. There should be a garden on this floor. Mm. Oh, it's just you again, Carland. How have you been? Who the fuck is Carland? It's just me here. Who are you? Who is Carland? Have we... What do you mean, who's Carland? <laughs> Stop being ridiculous, and let's get back to our research already. Who is Khan? What are you researching, then? Same thing I've been researching for the past 12 years. This tower. It is truly fascinating. That's interesting. <laughs> 12 years? Yeah, that is a long time. Correct. On both accounts, the College of Whispers reclamation team just arrived. I was here long before that. Originally, I came up here to scout out the area for magical artifacts, as many at the time had tried to do. I was different, though. I succeeded. So we opened the tower. In fact, I was the first to enter this place after it was sealed by an unknown mage nearly 150 years ago. I had only planned on staying for a week or two, it turned into three years. I wonder if that unknown mage is meant to be the hero of Kavach when you play Oblivion and this is your house. That's interesting, that like loot there. Only three, what about the other nine years you spent here? Yeah. Nine years? Hmm. I'm not quite sure, to be perfectly honest with you. The last thing I remember is packing up my equipment and leaving for a project I was assigned to in Hammerfell. I'm not going to talk about my this time there. I wouldn't even if I could remember the full story. I know I was with uh, someone, though. Who was it? Tamla? Hamland? No. Hm, odd. Indeed. Well, I certainly don't miss the hot, dry sand, that's for certain. How I got back here is anyone's guess. But I've been here ever since. Were there any other areas of my vast knowledge you wish to delve into? My vast knowledge? Is it me or does the music kind of remind you of Lord of the Rings meets Oblivion? What can you tell me about the College of Whispers? They've been my family for most of my life. Don't you listen to wild rumor or those devious synod mages either. The College is not some rogue sect of necromancers or some secret hoarding gathering of rabble. No, we simply try to keep the people of Tamriel safe from their worst enemy, their own ignorance. 
We keep the most dangerous knowledge and magic away from the public and in the hands of those who wish to devote themselves to its practice. That way, the real threats to society are powerless. And those who simply wish to learn the arts, all of them, can do so freely and without constriction. Hmm. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Farewell. Actually, if we ask Welcome him, what is this place? Why, this is the ever-famous Wizard's Tower, Frostcrag's spot. So much history has taken place inside so these walls. So much history. So many mysteries yes. to uncover. What is your business? Oh, we can ask him if he needs help with anything. Okay. Help. And hmm. Well, since you asked, possibly. Ah. I need someone to fix a mistake a member of my team decided to disrupt our busy schedule with. How rude. Unfortunately, none of us has had the time to tend to it as of yet. What say you? I'm going to be doing a mod video list um, later, so I'm not going to put them in the description. I've, I'm going to make something called a mod pack, which will be able to download and literally use my whole mod list. Uh, I've been working on that for a few months now, so it will be out. I'm slowly going to roll it out when I can. What is it that you want doing? Much appreciated. You see... During one of my more <laughs> eccentric members' early conjuration experiments, she made an error in judgment and attempted a conjuration spell which was beyond her capabilities. What a silly hoe. While she did successfully summon a scamp, the binding process was flawed, and now the spawn is running wild through the gerals. Ah, a scamp. Aye. It's one of the lesser forms of Daedra. Small, wily spell-slingers. Ugly little bleeders. Completely impotent. <laughs> okay. Might even say they're the Daedric equivalent of a Synod mage. Last we saw, it was headed south, toward Bold Man's Respite. Start there, and when you find it, return it to Oblivion for me. Now go, and try not to die. Okay, return the scamp to Oblivion basically just kill it this territory belongs to the college Starts of Whispers. Of storm astronauts what brings you to the top of this anything interesting mountain? in here any enchant mm. no just an amethyst enchanting primer another enchanting skill book oh my god oh we've already read this one it only works once i see okay so there is a balcony just here so let's go outside let's use the clear sky shout <laughs> or it's actually quite late at night you can see the stars. One of the moons of Tamriel. Can't see the other one, though. Oh, oh my god! Okay, so these things here... You'll we'll notice only one of them works right now. And we've not been inside the Bruma Mage Guild, so we can't use it, I assume. But each one of these eyes... One, two, three, four, five... Three, four, five, six. Okay, six. And there are... Okay, we can't actually see it on the map here. But there are six mage guilds, six cities in Skyrim with mage guilds. And each one of these eyes would teleport you to that mage guild. So it's pretty awesome, like, if you're a mage, like, you can teleport to and from the wizard's, wizard's tower. It's pretty sick. So let's go back inside. Ah, this is the garden I was telling you guys about a moment ago. Oh, we can't actually harvest any of these ingredients without stealing them. But there you go, that's the garden. Very exciting. So where does this take us? Upper balcony. Let's wait until morning. Can't sleep there. Okay, let's just wait until morning. And then I'll show you guys the view from the top. This expansion is bigger than the Dragonborn DLC. So it's massive. It's absolutely huge. There are over 24,000 lines of new dialogue in the game. And um, there's lots of new quests and locations to explore as well. And the locations are incredible. Bloody hell, this is amazing. So that's Bruma. We went all the way down that, that uh, path there and round this mountain at the foothills just there. And we went up the top here. What the bloody hell is that, though? What is, it's like a sundial. And that's the Imperial City just there. All the way to the Nibbin Basin, you can see. Leowin is just beyond there. And then you've got Breville over there. And the, Ill, the Inn of Ill Omen, which is where you kill Rufio, is just over there. This land's tough there always used to be a game. bandit on that bridge you can see there. Oh my god, I could literally just sit here all day and tell you every single location from this one standpoint. It looks amazing. My god. 
Lydia, what do you think of this? I'm right behind you. You're always right behind me. That's what you say. Jesus, Lydia. I need a companion from this area, I think, so I can actually have a meaningful conversation with them. But anyway, guys, let's have a look where we're meant to be going, because we're meant to be going this way, all the way. Let me remove that map marker to meet Olaf, the Nord, and explore Sador, the Aelid Ruins. So we're going to go down here and then up here to this location. But I mean, look at that. Okay, so I don't think it's too far to go. Let's go back downstairs. Ha! <laughs> Someone said jump. Should we do that? Let's do that one, sir. That's a good idea. We need to jump off. Right, which way? Oh, do I have the whirlwind sprint shout? Magic. Yep. It's only one word of it though, so. Don't want to get us that far. Which way do we jump off? Probably this way, it's the biggest cliff. Whee! Oh, oh, that was really disappointing. I expected we'd go a lot further. Right, let's load that safe. Jordan, thank you for the donation. We would kill Nazim, but Nazim isn't in. Cyrodiil, he's in Skyrim, so sadly, we cannot do that. What was the quest he gave me anyway? He wanted me to kill a scamp. I wonder if that's marked on my map. No, we literally just have to find it. Right, let's get out of here. ESO, do you speak Russian? I do not. It'd be pretty awesome if I could, though. I've always always uh, been a fan of games like Call of Prirat. Is it? Is that what it's called? Um, which is kind of like a survival wasteland game. Reminds me a bit of Fallout, which is why I really like it. Um, it came out before Fallout, though, I think. Before the first Fallout, I'm not sure. I don't think it came out before the first one, anyway. Might have been inspired by it. But anyway, we're going to go back down this mountain now. Guys. So we can um, go and start this quest and take over the people in this dungeon. It's going to be epic, man. Okay, here we go save the game again. Lots of saves. That is the key. <laughs> What's that? Right. So maybe we can work our way down this cliff. No, maybe not. That's quite dangerous. Let's not do that. Let's walk down this path. Retrace our steps from when we killed those trolls. Yeah, it is a mod, but I was just comparing it to the Dragonborn DLC. Don't kill Nazim. Oh, you're not going to be a fan of the chat now. The chat will definitely disagree. At least we can actually follow Nazim's advice and head to the Cloud District. Once they, once they finish making the Imperial City, I think they're going to roll out the sections as they come. You know, I'm not surprised it's taken them a while because it looks amazing and the landscaping they had to do on this area must have taken them a while. I can see someone. I think it's like a conjurer up ahead. What's going on here? Is that a goblin? It's like a goblin. We just YOLO. I think they're bandits. <laughs> Get wrecked, mate. Oh, come on. That surely hit him. Oh, they are goblins, but they've got someone captive. That lady looks like she's been taken captive. Where's Lydia? I need her to, like, tank me. Tank for me, even. Why is there a lady with them? I honestly don't know. Why is she trying to shoot me? Is she, like, the goblin princess or something? I was like, okay, I'll let her live because she's clearly been taken captive. But she's fucking coming at me with a bow like. An Imperial. Oh my god. Get out of the way, Lydia. Jesus Christ, Lydia. How the hell am I meant to dodge these giant clouds of frost magic? Oh god, that really hurt. We need to get back because otherwise we can die. Where's Lydia gone? I bet she's like stuck up that blooming mountain or something. Come at me, bro. Fight me. 
Right, he's almost down. So this is a goblin. Kind of like the similar anim animation to the Falmer. Oh, a goblin shield. There's literally just a bit of wood there. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? I like that. Goblin war axe. Can someone please explain to Rebel what Nazim did? <laughs> you just Google Nazim and then put memes and then you'll realize how rude, Jesus Christ, how rude Nazim actually is. I don't want to get hit by one of these frost spells because that's going to hurt. Oh my God. Where is he? Just there. Uh oh. Oh my god. They slow you down so much. So once you get hit by one, it's just like, please kill me. Oh my god. And he's healing himself. Ah, got you. Arrow right through the neck. Goblin Staff of Firebots. Oh wow, look at that. That's awesome. And Ice Storms, that, that's what he was using on me there. Weak Lingering Poison. Okay, well, I'm glad he's dead and taken care of. I will make a list of mods. I've got I've got lots of mod videos on their way, and it's going to be, like, the easiest way for you guys to install mods with the same load order that I use. One second. Where's that Imperial Lady I killed? Where did she go? I can't remember where she died. Okay, Liddy, you choose to show up now. Yeah, this was an Imperial Lady. Why the hell was she here? I wonder if there's like a note or something in this bandit camp explaining the situation. A goblin totem pole. Interesting. Oh, cool, a chest. Don't have an animation for opening it, but it still looks pretty epic. Okay, there's no... still a mystery to me why she was here. Like a goblin princess or something. I haven't actually tried the smithing, so I don't know if you can make weapons um, from Bruma in Skyrim. I'm sure you will be able to. That seems like the kind of thing they would definitely have done. You might have to do a quest to learn how to do it, but I'm not sure. We're almost at this uh, quest location, so I'm pretty excited, man. And the game hasn't crashed once yet, so that's fantastic news. Clearly, whatever that patch was, I didn't read the patch notes, fixed it. So, well done to the Beyond Skyrim team. I'm very proud of you. you made me very happy. <laughs> Nazim's this crying. He's the an arsehole. struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. Do I like Greece, as in country Greece? I've actually never been there. I was hoping to maybe go on holiday this year, but only if I can afford it. I haven't been the last few years, so I've just been so busy with work. So Greece, I guess we could go to Greece. Oh, he, he knows. They're like, what was that? I've seen an arrow. Oh, literally right in front of his foot that landed. Come on, man. Oh yeah, you see, Rebel knows who he is now. She agrees. Let's kill Nazim. Go, Lydia, go! Oh my god, look at that savage Lydia. Jesus, so savage. Just absolutely wrecking wolves all day. Into the distance. Sometimes you just gotta sit, pause, and appreciate the beauty of Skyrim. Cyrodiil. Beyond Skyrim, Cyrodiil. Bruma. Lots of words. Okay, so their camp should be like literally just outside here. And then we're gonna have a party of people to go and destroy everyone inside this alien room, which is gonna be awesome, man. So I'm excited. Is it up there? No, 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 it's just here. Okay, we've got a little bit of a walk, but we're not too far away, so. It's good, man. It's going well. What capture card do I have? I'm basically just using OBS. I'm not using a capture card. This is on PC right now. Um, I'm just using an Xbox controller because I used to be a console person. I still am a big fan of consoles. Like, 
this this is so much comfier than using a keyboard it's so much easier to use just like sit back chill play skyrim like it's the best thing ever and also like for my hands i find the old xbox 360 controller it's like my favorite controller ever i when they like stop going into production i'll probably like buy two of them just so i always have them to use with games forever Okay, we're, we're pretty close to this campsite now. These deers are rather purple, and I think that might be a texture issue. I don't know why they have such a purple underside to them. That's not correct. It should be white. Let's take one of these deers out and see if they have the same sound effect from Oblivion. They do. <laughs> it's kind of like the, the Skyrim sound effect, though, isn't it? Okay, so this is a cave. I need to be up there, though. Silvertooth Cave. It's good that we discover these places, because then we can fast travel back from Bruma whenever we need to. Have you guys been timing this video? How long has it been taking me to, like, walk from, like, here to here? I know we went to the top of this uh, mountain as well, but, you know, it's really big, the game world. It's bigger than it was in Oblivion. I'm 99% sure about that. So not far to go now, literally just round this corner up this cliff and we're at the campsite. And we can meet our good old friend! Should be at the top of this hill I reckon. Don't forget that view behind you though ESO because oh my god, looks incredible. Almost at the top here. Where are you bro? This guy is so friendly, like, he's just like the most friendly Nord ever. And he's in Cyrodiil, away from his homeland. Okay, let's save the game now, because... About to start this quest, hopefully there's no bugs. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Olaf, how are you, mate? You made it, friend. Am I glad to see you? Good morning. You made it, friend. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> Save it. What's your plan? Good to see you too, Olaf. You're such a legend. <laughs> your cheer is refreshing. Makes a change from all those milk drinkers at the Restful Watchmen. Now you're here, we are finally at full strength. And we are going to need all the strength we can get. The thugs in there are expecting unwelcome guests. It's going to be bloody work. But we'll manage. By the Nine, we are the sons of Skyrim. That's right, man. Wait, sons of Skyrim? Question mark. We could actually ask this. Um, a slip of the tongue, friend. I'm a proud man. A traditional man. I guess because I'm a Khajiit. So you can ask that. Are you a Stormcloak? Oh, okay, we can ask this. No, of course not. I, uh, no. It's okay, man. All right, fine. Yes, I believe that the Stormcloaks are the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Yes, he's a he's a Stormcloak. I'm doing this to prove my loyalty, and uh, God, I'm in over my head, aren't I? I don't care. Oh, you can say I don't like Stormcloaks. Now nah, let's finish the mission. Good to see your heart's in the right place, friend. Let's do this. All right, let's get underway. Who exactly are we saving? A lad I grew up with, an Imperial courier, Caius. Or at least his documents. You don't seem that concerned about him though. Not all that concerned. I am wearing armor, spilling blood in his name. Right. Who are these people we're with? Oh, just a few of my other friends. They are going to help us hit those bandits. And hit them hard. Don't worry. I trust them with my life. Alright, let's get underway. <laughs> By sure, this will be a glorious battle. Come on, everyone. Let's get in there and spill some blood. The Skyrim. I mean, these characters just seem so much more genuine than any of the others that you find in Skyrim. Like, this guy's a legend. Look at him. Fucking legend. 
Alright, let's go, man. I've got a whole posse. Where's Lydia at, though? Lydia, come join this sausage fest. Where is she? Hopefully she'll just appear when we go inside. Time to die. Time to die. I'm looking forward to doing this. So this is the Aelid Ruin. You can see the Aelid architecture here with the archway. And this is the secret entrance. I mean, it's quite well hidden. Only this entrance sort of marks the spot where this uh, door is, I guess. Oh, listen to the sound effects when you open this. So good. So good. Lydia isn't What's dead. You see, she's All just right. here, I told you. Or what happens to Caius? But we need to keep our <laughs> Oh god, fucking hell, there's a fucking bandit. Guys, guys, help me out. Oh my god, Olaf. You are a fucking savage. Jesus Christ, mate. You literally cleave this guy in two. Bloody hell, man. That wasn't friendly at all. Well, I don't think we'll be doing this sneakily. Should we turn it up to Master Difficulty? Because obviously it's going to be a lot easier now we have tons of people with us. So this is an Aelid Ruin and the architecture is... Rich ones have the most punchable faces. Get wrecked, mate. Obviously, we still do a lot of damage on Master Difficulty with our sneak attacks. That takes care of that. Do you know what? Oh, you know, I went to Prague recently to go and see the team behind Warhorse Studios, which are the people who are making Kingdom Come Deliverance. And Tobias, the guy in charge of PR, said if I'd showed up a week earlier, I could have done some voice acting for the game. And I was like, I was so sad. I was like, you should have told me this earlier, Toby. I'm so disappointed. I mean, that game's amazing. I would have loved to have done any kind of voice acting for it. Not that I'd be any good, but it would have been fun. For the inward seeing eye and the Cyrodiil's nobody, only Skyrim report Inspector Claudius, 16th, last seen. Oh, okay, so this is the courier, and this is his letter. Hail! I hope this report receives you in good health. By the divines, you're going to be feeling good when you finish reading it. As I'm sure you're aware, I was assigned to the Skyrim task as a personal attach of General Tullius and to monitor the incredibly warm cold war between the Empire and the Dominion, the Aldmeri Dominion and the Empire. The situation is getting well, warm, especially after Ambassador Elowind's own reassignment in the North following Mark the Markov incident. That will be with the Force Sworn then. Hmm. I'm going to assume you're familiar with the official version of the Civil War in Skyrim. I understand the Nibbon Herald can't get enough of it. But events up here have finally taken a positive turn. General Tullius has just hours before these documents were drafted, captured the bear of the North himself. So he caught Ulfric's Stormcloak. So this letter is based at the start of the game when you get captured in Skyrim along with Ulfric's, Ulfric's Stormcloak in Helgen. Uh, at the border, actually, to Cyrodiil, right? So when you were trying to cross the border with the horse thief. Um, we're trying to sway away from Orphan's Rock. I can show you that on the map later. Because um, there's a clan of witches in Falkreath into treason against the Empire. They're only tempted to bait uh, Force Legionnaires, okay, to go to the credit of men to draw the Stormcloaks close enough to the border with Cyrodiil to allow a much larger force to inca incapacitate Traitor and his men. They're now being escorted under heavy guard to Helgen, which I've just said, to the Imperial Stronghold area. Interesting. And there's also some dice here, so clearly... Don't look at me for directions. I'm not the Whispers Mage. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Let's take this report and see... That's page one. Hmm? Okay, we can't give it to him. <sighs> but he said that he wanted this to come in here and get cold. the reports, right? Even to me. And I'm used to good Skyrim weather. Weather. The voice acting is incredible. I love it. This guy's gonna get wrecked. Are you crazy? Bandit spell singer. No, mate. There's no healing that damage. Even on master difficulty, you're gonna get wrecked. 
There's even different types of fur armor. This iron dagger looks pretty cool. It's actually thin like an iron dagger should be. Oh shit, fucking hell, I didn't see that person come out of the darkness. Protect me, bandits. I mean, Nords of Skyrim. I'll kill this fellow Khajiit because I'm an absolute savage. Get wrecked, mate. Iron arrow. Oh, actually, he had a lockpick as well. Let's take that. Right, okay. So, exploring these aided ruins is going quite well. At the moment, there are just bandits here, though. Clearly, it's been taken over by the bandits. This is where they're... These elven... What do they call them? Aeliot ruins. They have always made me uneasy. Set my Set nose, my nose hairs hairs on edge. So that's a... Ooh, hello. How you doing, bro? Oh, what? How did I miss? Damn it. Man, the outlaw get wrecked, mate. I'm, I'm not doing very well here. Arrow to the knee, though. I think they're coming up these stairs. Oh shit, hello. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. I want to use my... Oh, there we go. Now it's working. I've got a lantern on my, on my body and um, sometimes it doesn't actually work and turn on. That leads back the way we've come. Oh, look. You can see that guy over there? Bandit ringleader. Oh my god. He is quite tanky. Right, Lydia. Let's go and help the boys. No, we're going this way. You're going the right way. It's all good. Gold. 14 iron arrows. Amulets of Kinrath. I'm going to wear that because I don't think I have you are. an enchanted amulet yet. Oh, God, boys. He's quite tanky. Oh, he's got an enchanted weapon as well. Luckily, we're literally just sausage festing this guy. Like... Oh my god, he's killed someone. Lydia, quickly, defeat him. Oh yeah. Lydia just spanked him around the face with a the shield there. Absolutely decked him on the floor. S nice. I wish we could give that to Olaf. Have that, Nord. So okay, that's the Nord that's just got killed. You know the quest we did uh, at the start of the DLC yesterday morning? Oh, there are well card stones. That's cool. Yeah, the quest we did at the start of the DLC um, in the morning. I wonder if these are the people that we were meant to call to war? to come and help out. I hope it never a master comes lock. Here. Damn it. There's some beer in there. And that's all I can see in a chest as well, maybe. Damn it. There's no chance of me like, picking this. I'm not going to waste your time with that. Let's just pop down in here first and have a look if there's anything interesting. If we continue deeper into the Aelid Ruins. What can that be? Get wrecked. Take all these well card stones though, because I want to see what they actually do. Miscellaneous well card stone. Where is it? Am I blind, or is it just not in this category? Oh, okay, it's in the potion category. Magicka 100. Channel the power of the well card stone to fully recharge your magicka reserves, destroying the stone in the process. How beautiful is that? They look as cool as they did in Oblivion. Like, oh, it's insane. I remember when they posted the concept art for those, and I was just like... That's insane. It looks so good. That was ages ago. That's when... Um, that was, like, so long ago. The Moor of Cedar. Okay, we don't want to go this way, though. We want to go up there to the top. That's where the quest marker is. And then we'll go and explore that area in a second. It's very dark. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so this is where the bandit chief was. Ah, that'll be the dead body of that guy. Oh no, he's dead. He got wrecked. Activate light. Contract. Oh, okay, this is the contract we're meant to get. Can't actually read it yet. 
Stormcloak something. Okay, we've got the documents. Stormcloak activity, heavy near the Pale Pass. May seek and intercept documents, avoid at all costs. Okay, so he couldn't go that way through the Pale Pass. Oculatus agents lying low in Bruma Tavern. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Because we went there. Apparently the shadier one. Best check restful watchman to make delivery. Avoid Thalma agents if at all possible. Good intercepts may lead complications. That's not the whole document though, is it? The rest must be just here. Ooh, list of Stormcloak sympathizers. That's how we're going to infiltrate the Cyrodiil then, isn't it? That's cool, man. There was not much in that chest. Damn it all. His documents aren't here. But I doubt they have gone walkabout. They should still be here in this blasted ruin. Somewhere. We'd best keep our eyes peeled. Maybe retrace our steps. His documents should be here. Okay. Somewhere. There's a quest marker over here, then. Literally down here. Five, part three. Oh, I want to... Okay, let's do this in order. We've already picked that one up, though, right? Unless there was another part over there. Let's just grab this and this. Oh, I thought that was a well -cut stone. Right, let's run back over here and get the next one. And it's just outside. I'm sure I picked one up. There must be one under the table there that I missed. Oh, bloody hell, that was. You literally can't see it in that lighting. My own investigation into character of Orphrix Stormcloak have turned into some very interesting tidbits. We'd be aware for a long time that his status as a potential asset to the Thalma, but if he operated in the interests of one thing is unclear. Okay, the Thalma has utterly lost control of him. It's unsurprising he's grown beyond mere agitation and distraction from the Empire's southern borders and into the realms of true full-scale cessation. Oh right, so he's trying to become the king. We already know that. Elven soldiers and agents rarely make it out of Stormcloak hold territory, anything approaching one piece. And as far as I can tell, the leadership of the natives has refuted all direct communication with the Thalma embassy. Okay. Is there anything interesting here that we don't already know from playing through the Skyrim campaign? Okay, so it's talking about the Stormcloak Rebellion. This one. Uh, right, let's pick that up then. And let's have a... I want to explore the rest of this room before we leave, so we're going to do that for sure. But I just want to have a look at the scrolls, see if there's anything else interesting in here. Part 3. It's basically telling us the whole story of Skyrim, what's been going on political situation and the border in between Skyrim and Cyrodiil so I mean I'm not going to read it all but um, you can pause and read it if you wish okay so then Ulfric Stormcloak's execution long live the Empire alright great so before we leave I don't like these ruins He's still following me, so we can actually use him, maybe, to help me clear the rest of the ruins. Let's hop down here again. Ow. And we can go through this area into the next zone. More of Sidor. The more. Okay. I don't know what we're going to find. Oh, shit. Was there a guy there? There was. Mate. Hey. Get wrecked. You should be facing the doorway. Who made that noise? Who made that noise? Attack, Lydia! Attack! This should be good. Oh, mate. Oh my god! Lydia just hit that guy around the face who's on our team. Lydia's such a savage, man. She just doesn't take, like, shit from anyone. God. Oh my god! It's an underground location. What the hell? This is amazing. Aelid Skeleton? No way. Aelid Mallor? 
That's the Aelid currency. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my. De they have Aelid. I'm kind of annoyed that these people exist because they shouldn't exist, but. Alright. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh my god. It's a whole civilization. A whole civilization that's about to die. Oh, mate, I want the kill cam on that, though. No, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit him again. Maybe he's not standing still. No way. The aliens didn't exist in Oblivion. They were just ruins inhabited by ghosts, zombies, and lots of other kind of things like that. So now that aliens exist, it's kind of strange. Don't really know how I feel about that. Come on, man. Okay, there's no way I'm going to be able to kill them from here. This ruin is... Oh, my days. Okay, I've made a mistake already. I've fallen down the crevice. I don't think we're going to be able to get up. Let's go down here and just try and fight our way out then. Oh, an alien chest. It's locked, though. I'm not going to bother lockpicking it. Forget that. I don't know why there's an Aelid currency. I assume it's just worth money. The music is very cool. Very eerie. Okay. Looks like we can get out of this area up here. Can't pick that up. Those shadows are a bit fucked up, but alright. Just a few skeletons up here. Oh, really? You just stopped right before the arrow hit you? Fine. I don't really want to pick a fight with these guys, because I honestly think they're going to be pretty hard to kill. Okay, they're not. As long as you sneak attack them, that is. Get wrecked, mate. Alien bow! Oh, mate, that looks insane. I want to use that right now. Look at that. It's kind of like a, a sci fi elven bow, isn't it? Pretty sick. Okay, we're on the other side now, so we should be able to finish off these guys pretty easily. Ooh, an enchanted sword. What is he holding? Ha <laughs> Get wrecked, mate. Like, the eerie silence with the music in this place. It's quite amazing. I'm really surprised that we found an aided civilization. <laughs> it shouldn't exist, surely. It just shouldn't. And is that what the aliens would look like? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. There's actually another chest just down there hidden away, but I can't be bothered to go and pick that up. Oh, hello. Getting stuck there. Let's climb up here. There were some really cool underwater hidden sort of... Uh, areas in oblivion i actually made some videos on them that was like some of the first videos i ever made were on those areas look at their face like they look kind of got, got like a helmet on this is on master difficulty they're going down quite easily a lid sword there's quite a few of them i'm surprised i mean at one point the aelids um they had a huge... They, they were the Empire, effectively. They they owned Cyrodiil. They enslaved all the humans. And um, I don't know if it's just a glitch that, you know, they're not being very responsive to me walking around. But, uh... Not sure. Sometimes the AI does that. I could reload the game and it might fix it, but... Okay, there's another way out over here. So let's jump over here and see if we can... Exit through the depths of Sodor. Yeah, The Witcher is a great game. 
renamed zombies. Do you think so? They're effectively zombies, but like an alien origin, I guess, because zombies wouldn't actually exist in the Elder Scrolls universe. So this is an alien version of those zombies. Like, kind of like how the... Oh, one sec. Alien arrow. Nice. That looks cool. Yeah, so they you, you could be right. Maybe they're zombies. Maybe um, a bit like how the Dwemer blinded the snow elves and they became the Thalmer. Somehow these guys became zombies. But they're not actually zombies in name. They're just a replacement. More lore-friendly replacement explanation for what happened to the Aelids and how the Aelid ruins are inhabited by zombies. I mean, we're sort of figuring this out as we go along, but... They were trying to be very accurate to the lore. I do know that. So I'm sure if I asked one of the team members, they'd be able to explain it to me. Why they're here. If he actually, like, comes and attacks me, like, how much damage does he do? Oh, shit, okay. Oh, my God, okay. Well, we may have bitten off more than we could chew here. Let's save the game quick before we die. This guy looks pretty scary. Take that guy out. Yeah, he does a bit of damage, but it's not too bad. Considering it is a must difficulty. Like, not too bad. I want to get this world card stone, though. In a moment, I think. After we've taken care of this guy. Why is he waving at me? Mate, I'm going to wreck you. Fight me. Oh, wait. You can't. Bow down to me, I am the true dragonborn. <laughs> Worship me. Right, let's try and get this world card stone. There we go. I really want to show you guys the sound effect when you open a lid chest, so I'm kind of looking for one at the moment, because the sound effect is so cool. One second. Oh! Meteoric iron ore. That must be what you use to craft alien weapons, potentially. Something sounds creepy. There's definitely some skeletons around here. Can't see them, though. Two hundred years since the Dragonborn's been in Cyrodiil. Yeah, I guess you can't really compare me to the Dragonborn Emperor, Tiber Septim, though, can you? When he died. Uh, right. A well card well. Usually you can use those to get more magicka reserves. I wonder how we open these. There must be like a lever at the top somewhere. I don't know where the rest of my companions get, went. Um, I assume we'll find them outside eventually, but... There used to be like secret passages as well, like through the walls and stuff. But, um... I haven't seen any yet. We came out that way, didn't we? I don't know how we can progress further. Oh, what's this? A graphical error. <laughs> what it must be. Alright, let's drop down here again. There's a way through there, but you can't go through there. So let's go through this way. See where this takes us. Maybe we just have to go, oh, go around the long way and then we can take... There's a lever that leads you back round through that iron grate there. I really want to know what the point of this Aelid money is. I can hear a skeleton somewhere. I don't know where he is, though. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. There he is. Correct. 
It's very gloomy, very mysterious. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. That guy looks pretty scary. Don't want to get on his wrong side. You can die first, mate. Come at me, bro. Right. This guy here, he had like a enchanted... Whoa, 200. Don't really know what it means, having 200 of that, but alright. Okay. I think we have to go this way to progress. Save the game again. Oh, okay. I wonder if there's anything underwater here. There is. Okay, not this way though. Oh, one sec, can I swim up there? No. There must be like some kind of secret around here. No, there's not. Maybe on the other side. It's weird that there's ice in this room. Like, it's that cold. Can I jump up? Please, thank you. Uh, let's have a look around here then. Maybe there's something we dive under here. Nope. I just had to look, man. It was kind of obvious that Martin Septon... Oh, here's, here we go. Here's the noise. Oh, I love that sound. It's like stone rubbing over stone. Oh my god, look at this. That looks sick, man. Alid Ring of Destruction. So it's just a normal... It just looks amazing. That sort of texture for the ring. Okay, there's some cool stuff there. I guess that's the boss chest, right? So this must be like the end of the dungeon now. Okay. I thought, I literally thought, oh my god, I got this far and I cannot fit through the final door. My Khajiit is too fat. Oh, Jesus, hi there. Hey, bro. These zombies have pretty bad uh, eyesight, which I guess is to be expected from a zombie. Right, okay. Ah, oh, here we go. You see, activate that. That reveals this wall. And it also opens this one, maybe? Yes, it does. Okay. So where does this lead? Jesus Christ. Get wrecked, mate. Oh, the kill cam. In the darkness. You can't see it. You missed a door underwater. Where am I on the map? I am just here on the map, in Sador. Bruma is over here. Okay, so... We're just passing down this way now. We've discovered most of this Aelid dungeon. How did that miss him? What? <laughs> Don't understand. Look at these crazy zombies. Why would you run at someone with a bow? How stupid are you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ow. Uh, really weird, like how the sewer system works. I don't really understand the architecture behind it. Look at that ice texture. It looks incredible. It's really cool how they've made that. It's like a very glossy sort of reflective style to it. It is coming to Xbox One eventually. After it comes to Skyrim Special Edition on PC, I would have thought. Right now, it's on the old 32-bit engine, which is actually running quite smoothly after they patched it, so I'm very impressed. Oh, shit, that's a throne. And there's someone sitting on that throne. Right, guys, let's save the game, and let's just, like, have this boss battle out. See how it goes, right? Right, here we go. Wakey, wakey! Aelid ad domini of oh, fuck all. I don't get that this is a- Oh my Jesus Christ. I was about to say, I don't get that this is a master difficulty and they're not doing that much damage. And then I got hit and instantly died. Okay, right. Let's sort this out. 
this is only the first word of the slow time shout, so it's not going to help me that much. Apart from killing this guy, that is. Where do the other guys come from now? One there, and there's one there. Okay, I think it's this one. Damn it, I miss. This is the scary guy. Let's take him out. Oh, it's just a skeleton. How do you do so much damage, though? You're just a skeleton, leave me alone. Bow down to me. I am your true master. Punched in the face with a, with a bow. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, people are like, what difficulty are you playing on? And then, oh my god, some people have just appeared around me. Ooh, a boss chest key. So that wasn't even the boss chest. Oh, Jesus Christ, he just said something in A-Lid. Fuck me, that hurt. That hurt a lot. My god. Oh, some coin purses. Oh, no, it's not, not the time for coin purses ESO. Got to backtrack here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I should have saved my slow time shout for the other guy, I think. Because if he hits me with that bow, it's going to bloody well hurt. Let's save the game quickly. Okay, we got a flinch on him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't hit me with that bow, please. Oh, my God. Jesus. He's not happy, is he? Come around that corner. Oh my god, that was so close. He literally had a, an arrow as he came around that corner ready to kill me. Fuck me. That was close indeed. Right, let's find this boss chest. It's going to be behind the throne, I reckon. This is the, the king of the Aelids. Rawr. I hope there's like a quest related to this area. I probably missed it, but um, take me to the, the mall. Oh, okay, so now we're going back out, I assume. Just where the hell is the uh, the boss chest then? Did I miss it? How somber is this music right now? Oh well, have we missed it? Yeah, let me guess. I got what I thought was a boss chest at one point, anyway. How the hell do you get out of here? How do you get over there, I wonder? Interesting. <laughs> Save the game. I'm going to go back over there and finish off this quest. Oh my days! That was close. I thought that was it, boys. thought they'd had me. Okay, right. Fall down another crevasse here. How do we get up there? Can I actually... Oh, okay. There is a door. Fair enough. You missed the chest. Go back. Oh, it doesn't matter, guys. It was just a chest. Hear a skeleton there. There's a skeleton up there. Hmm. I wonder how he got up there. I'm trying to get back to where I was before. This doesn't seem like the safest way of doing it, but hey. In fact, this definitely isn't going to work. Right, that's where I need to go. Just over there. Is it? Everyone's saying go back. That's so unsatisfying. Okay, I'll go back. Where was that auto save from? Let's quickly check this auto save. Let's go back inside. To make you happy. <laughs> Okay, so where was the chest, guys? Was it in... Oh, look! Aelid's flags! This was actually a throne room, then. Oh, it's just here, I see. Requires key. 250 gold, ring of restoration, ebony armor. We can give that to Lydia, I guess, but... 
wasn't really worth it. I'm surprised it doesn't take you back outside, because it's not obvious when you actually exit this dungeon where you have to go. Right, so we have to get back up there, right? I wonder if you can fast travel from here. No, you can't. It is in a cave. Let's just run back along here and see if we can retrace our steps. I kind of want to get on top of there, but um, I don't know how easy that is to do. So if we run through here, back where we first started, I didn't expect this dungeon to be so big, if I'm honest. Ah, here we go. This is the exit then. It's a door. Okay, yeah. Now we've retraced our steps. So we can go and finish off this quest. Oh, bloody hell, a rat. Get out of here. Look out. Oh, fuck me. What? I, I was wondering why I did so little. Okay, that was weird. Get away from me, you purple rat. Silly rats. What are you doing? Right, so we should be able to exit out of this place now. What could that be? Who made that noise? Oh Jesus. Huh? Who are these guys? Did I lose them? <gasps> Who are these people? Why are they in here? Didn't we we cleared out this area already? See? You got a oh god, not an archer. Suffer. Your money and your life. They're highwaymen. They have bandit highwaymen that explore ruins and rob you. How rude. Okay, so we're not here all day, guys. You know what? I'm just going to yell at you. Whoa, no! <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, it didn't work. Can I help you? Can I help you? You actually can help me. I just wanted to escape the ruin because I know all my, all my friends are outside. So I'm just going to ignore those rats there. I'm going to run straight out. Sneak past these bandits, I reckon. Hopefully they don't come down this corridor. I think we'll be alright. We can probably just run out now. There we go. Oh, okay. That is a bug. That's not meant to be like that. I thought I might be able to walk around the door. Save again. Load save. Hopefully this will work. I don't want to have to restart. Yeah, there we go. That works. That bug. Aha! We did it! <laughs> By the divines, we did it! That was glorious! Indeed it and was. it's all thanks to you, my friend. You certainly have a knack for dealing with bandit scum. And you have even recovered Caius's last delivery. He was a good friend. For an Imperial. <laughs> he deserved a fate better than this. But even this is better than his reports finding their way back to the Imperials. Hand them over. I'll give you your gold. And then join my brothers and sisters up north. Okay. Uh, are you sure you're not in over your head? Oh, okay. There are a few conversation options. Oh, that would be so mean if we said you're a weakling. Okay, let's persuade him. <laughs> no, friend. I am simply following the path of honor and glory. Uh, you know, I feel like we should just give it to him, man. Thanks, friend. You have helped the cause more than you could ever know. For the sons of Skyrim. For the sons of Skyrim. Completed the courier. And let's have a look on the map now. So we've done this quest, the courier. There is another quest over here we also had. The Frozen Grotto. Which is literally at the edge, I think, of where you can explore right now. I think we're going to do that next. But we're going to do that 
next stream guys so thank you very much for tuning in if you did like the video please do give it a like because that really helps me out and if you want to see i'm going to be streaming again tomorrow probably about the same sort of time maybe 10 a.m gmt hopefully everything will be fine there'll be no more crashes because we fixed it with this patch so i should be fine now but i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will see you tomorrow same time so have a fantastic day and goodbye Oh, I've also got, before I go, I've also got a advertisement video coming out tomorrow as well. So if, if you do watch that and give it a like and also click the link related to the advertisement video, that really helps me out. It just helps me, allows me to keep the channel going, keep on making content like this. I really appreciate it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.